Number 16. Following the previous setup, find the speed v, our final velocity of our small block, after it leaves the slope. The key here is after it leaves the slope. What it means is that we have our small block that approaches our big block here and then they collide and then at one point they went up as high as here or somewhere along in our incline plane. But after it leaves the slope, meaning after it comes down, we're going to have our block uh, that's leaving the system and the direction it has come from is now opposite. So in uh, our elastic collision means that energy is conserved in our system. Therefore, I can write down as mv plus big M, big V initial. So this is before and the after is on the right side of the equation. mv final plus big M, big V final. We already know that the big block did not move initially, so that goes zero. Now after the collision, we know that the direction of our small block is changing to the negative side. So I can illustrate that by writing down the equation vi and the, v, v, uh, the initial velocity for the big block was zero, so I set that equal to uh, equal sign and then v final is opposite direction but then our uh, big vf after it collides going to the positive x direction so we have a big vf with a plus sign there so we have to uh, now just find big vf because in the ch answer choices we don't have a big vf and we really have to find the vf so ultimately our goal is to find vf small vf okay so i rearrange this by writing vf equals vi plus vf so this small v uh, uh, is corresponding to our small block the big v against corresponds to our big block and I'm gonna substitute these two into our big VF so what we get is NVO plus oh, we don't need that because we don't have to add zero equal MV final plus big M VI plus VF Okay, now I can distribute this. I'm going to change that to VO because that's what we see in our choices. So VO plus big and a small VF. Okay, so we're looking for the VF. So we want to remain our uh, VF on the right side and probably move the VO to the left side. So what we get is MVO minus big M small VO equal now I can distribute right now VF times n plus big n and then just divide it by the mass so we get small vf again I know it's kind of not easy to see small vf however um, so so that you don't get confused so vf equal okay this side cancel out so n 
Okay, you know we can factor out the VO outside. So M minus big M over M plus big M. Okay, now you might wonder, well, we don't have the exact answer like that. That's because I was finding the velocity of the final, and this makes sense because we have a smaller mass and a big mass here, right? And initially, it, had, it was going a positive direction, so ultimately, we get negative direction for our final velocity. And that makes sense because after the collision and then after it leaves the system, it has to go toward the left side or the negative, direct, negative x direction. So that was the velocity. However, the problem said speed, speed v. In other words, we have to have the absolute value around here. So instead of this, we, since we know the mass of our big block, our inclined plane is much bigger than the smaller block, we have to just make that positive. Uh, uh, not po we, we, we have to make this positive by flipping the m, big m, and the small m. So, okay, m minus m, m plus m, and v o, and this is right for our speed. Okay, remember that speed is always the magnitude of the velocity, so it never takes the negative speed negative uh, it never takes the yeah speed never takes the negative number okay so the answer is uh, looking at that e